What's up guys, Emma is back with a new episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Okay, today is tournament time. We are in the midst of the Majin Buu saga and now we head to the tournament where everyone really hopes to win because there's a shit ton of money to win. I'm not forgetting anything, am I? I don't know, are you? If you continue, you will be unable to do the following until you complete the game. Have Chi Chi make full course meals, have Bulma build hover cars, bipedal robo walkers, report training manual progress to Master Roshi. Yeah, we don't. Uh, full course meals are eaten <coughs> immediately anyway. So they are not that helpful to us in the midst of anything. So, yeah. All set. Yeah. I should be good to go. Okay. Where is everyone? Where is everyone? That's a really good question, dude. Oh, there they are. <sighs> hey, Gohan! Took your sweet time, didn't you? <laughs> Sorry about that. Man, this place sure is packed, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Pretty annoying, huh? Oh, yeah. wow. It's Mr. Satan! Look! Mr. Satan's here! Mr. Satan, huh? <laughs> Looks like Earth's Heroes has shown up at last. <laughs> Hello to all my touring fans around the world! Are you ready? Mr. Satan! Mr. Satan! Mr. Satan! He sure is popular, huh? <laughs> it's Mr. Piccolo! Piccolo! Have you seen my dad anywhere? No, no sign of him yet. Gohan, uh, I have to ask, are you really going to wear that? What could be taking Goku so long? Maybe he's already in the waiting room. <laughs> hey, guys! The evil wizard Bobbity's machinations. Goku! Hey! <laughs> wow, you guys sure have changed a bunch. How have you all been? G Goku! It's good to have you back. Goku! <laughs> Goku! Goku! Dad! <laughs> huh? Look, Goten, it's your father! Whoa! That's my son? Wow, he looks just like me! <laughs> What's wrong, Goten? There's no need to be shy. His name's Goten, huh? I like it! You've got 24 hours. That's it. Thanks, Fortune Teller Baba! Well, this is as far as we can go. Break a leg out there, guys. Thanks. We'll catch up with you later. See ya! Hey, Goten, want to do some exploring around this place? Yeah, that sounds like fun! Let's go! Alright, let's go check out what's going on over there! Trunks! 
Oh, we're playing Golden. That's awesome. Oh shit, we can't fly. God damn it. Oh, that's so cool. Look at all this stuff. This is cool. This is awesome. What brings you here? Did you need something? Nope. Wait up! The world tournament begins. Talk to Trunks. Can we do anything else? Okay, nope. Where's Trunks? Yeah. Got oh, there he is. Man, I wish we could fight everyone too. Yeah, but we wouldn't be able to beat my brother or Vegeta. But I bet we'll totally be able to beat them when we're older. Let's check that out over there. Uh-oh. I think our moms might be looking for us. They're not gonna let us buy anything if they're angry at us. I know. We'll say you got lost and that I was looking for you. Yeah, that should work. What? I'm the one that got lost. That's how it's gotta be. It'll be more believable for me to look for you since I'm older. All right, peace. Uh, hey, that's not fair, Trunks. Well, that's how it goes. Chase after Trunks. Oh, shit. This is so cool. Oh, there's he already. Hey, dude. With the really not suspicious M on your forehead. The fuck is wrong with you, huh? What you looking at? What you looking at? Come on, huh? What you looking at? <laughs> oh boy. So, what's that? Goku and Piccolo Jr. face off in the final match of the 23rd World Tournament. Piccolo Jr. reveals himself to be the reincarnation of none other than the dreaded Demon King Piccolo, sending the arena into a panic. Kami disguises himself and sneaks into the competition, hoping to kill Piccolo Jr. Unfortunately, killing the Demon King would mean killing himself. Hoping to avoid such a situation, Goku continues to fight. Oh well. This is so incredibly awesome. Like, I really have to say, I love the very first Dragon Ball, maybe even a little bit more than Dragon Ball Z. That ring is way too small for those fights, to be honest. Let's see how it's going to be. Yep, come on, jump! First trunks. No, seriously. wandering around <laughs> she's not having it w what uh, how do you know goten you just gave us away that's what i thought goten it's rude to lie to people that's right trunks you're older and you should know better than this we're sorry, we're sorry. <laughs> yeah no one fucks with these two <laughs> even vegeta and goku are afraid of them <laughs> all right that's enough of that let's head to the arena right if we don't hurry, there won't be any seats left. You ready, Goten? Yeah, I'm ready. Nice. No more dilly-dallying. You head straight to the arena, you hear me? Sure, sure. No, it's dangerous to wander yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good, oh, good. We got this. Well, 
Guess we better get going to the arena. We better get going. <laughs> Meanwhile, Goku and the others made their way to the arena for the selection round. Jeez! Look at all these people! Attention all World Tournament participants! We will soon begin the selection process! It looks like this is the biggest turnout we've had in years! But only the best 16 of you will have a chance to compete! Since the returning champion, Mr. Satan, will automatically be allowed to compete, that means only 15 of you will be advancing! Let's find out who that'll be! To keep things fair, we'll be testing everyone's strength with this punching machine! Those with the 15 highest scores will be selected to fight in the tournament! Punching machine? What the heck is that? Let's see if any of you have what it takes to beat our champion, Mr. Satan's high score! We're expecting some great scores! Now, let's begin the World Tournament Selection Round! And so the selection process for the World Tournament began. Given their otherworldly strength, Gohan and the others were quickly able to secure spots in the tournament. Good thing we did all that training and made it through, huh? <laughs> Not like there was any worry there. Oh come on, I was really... I'm really pissed they left out Vegeta's... <laughs> Vegeta's... participation in that. That was the best. Greetings. You must be Goku. Huh? How do you know who I am? I've heard of you before. May I shake your hand? Sure. Uh, nice to meet you. Just as I'd heard, you have a good spirit. Huh? Now, if you'll excuse me. What? Who the hell was that? I'm not sure, but, you know, I'm starting to get the feeling that this tournament's not gonna be a walk in the park after all. Everybody here looks like a pushover except those two. Hmm, what's with those guys? They look kinda weird. Like they're more powerful than they should be. So the World Tournament was finally underway. Most of the Z Warriors were spread out across the matches. However, Goku and Vegeta were fatefully paired against each other for the sixth match of the first round. Krillin set the tone for the tournament by making short work of his opponent in the first match. In the second match, Piccolo found himself standing before the enigmatic Shin. However... <clears throat> what is this? What is going on? Why am I having such a hard time with this guy? This isn't right. Who the hell is he? You'll find that out soon enough. Let's just enjoy the game for now. <gasps> Count me out. I forfeit. Huh? You... forfeit? You're not going to fight anymore? That's right. I see. So he's the former guardian of this planet. Perhaps he's realized who I am then. Well, let's keep things rolling! Time for our third match! Next, it's Videl versus Spopovich! Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Uh, you're not... Uh, not what, exactly? Uh, you're not the, uh, The Grand Kai, are you? No, I am not. He's the Supreme Kai. The, the Supreme Kai? 
Please keep that to yourself for now. I don't want others to know just yet. So, you're even higher than the Grand Kai, who's above the four Kais. I mean, I'd heard about gods above the Kais before, but I didn't know they actually existed. Hey, Piccolo! Something wrong? Don't tell me that guy's already talking trash. You want me to have a word with him? No, go! No, keep your mouth shut. Do not say anything, you hear me? Huh? Meanwhile, Videl was trading blows with the muscle-bound Spopovich in the third match. Though Videl was a much more capable fighter, she was quickly overpowered by Spopovich's abnormal strength. I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's something seriously off about that guy. Like he's not using his own power. That... monster! You gave it your best! Tap out! Just throw in the towel, Videl! Uh, no... Wait... I... I'm not... giving up... <laughs> That's it. I've had enough. That jerk's going down. Hey, now. Okay, come on, take it easy, Gohan. No! That's enough, Spopovich. You've had your fun. We came here for something far more important than this. Hurry up and win the match. Yeah, okay. Fidel! <clears throat> Spovovich! <sighs> You're not gonna get away with this. You hear me? Should I call for a stretcher? No. I'll carry her myself. You got it. If I win my next match, I'll be up against him in the fight after that. Go on. I've got some sensu beans. Thank goodness. Fidel, you're gonna have to trust me on this. But could you eat this bean? Anything from you. Probably has some mysterious power behind it, right? Yeah. You should be fine now. But it'd be best for you to take it easy for a while here. Thank you, Gohan. Gotta go. Everyone's waiting. found himself facing the mysterious Kabito in the fourth match. Transform into that Super Saiyan form of yours. I want to see if you truly have what it takes to help our cause. 
Huh? How do you know about Super Saiyans? And what do you mean, help our cause? You will find out soon enough! First, I want to see the power of a Super Saiyan. Uh, are you kidding? I can't just transform into a Super Saiyan in front of everyone. Hmm. I can't hear what they're talking about. He told Gohan to transform into a Super Saiyan. Gohan! Piccolo! What's up, Piccolo? You know what's going on? Uh, I'm not sure, but... <sighs> Our apologies, but Gohan will be assisting us with something for the time being. All of you must promise that you will not get involved, no matter what happens. I trust I can count on you. It, what? Wait, what do you mean? You honestly think we're just going to do whatever you say? Tell us who you are! Uh, he's, uh, the Supreme Kai. He rules over all the Kais. He's a god. Uh, huh? Oh yeah, that's right! King Kai told me about you. So you're the Supreme Kai. Huh. All right, I'll transform into a Super Saiyan. Not sure why you'd want me to, though. Why don't I take it one step further and transform into something beyond a Super Saiyan? Take it to the next level. What? Beyond a Super Saiyan? <laughs> this energy's incredible. That's our guy. He... he transformed! Gohan transformed! You gotta be kidding me! We're taking that energy. Make sure he doesn't try to escape, Spopovich. Right! There! Ha. Who are you? That's it! We've got enough energy now! Let's do it! Wait! Don't move! Not yet! He'll be fine. Kabito will restore his strength shortly. I intend to follow those two and learn where they're taking Gohan's energy. If you wish to join me, you are more than welcome to do so. I could use your help. So, what are you gonna do, Goku? I'm gonna go with him. You heard him, didn't you, Krillin? He could really use our help in this. Besides, I have to know what this is all about. Uh, then I, I guess I'll go too. I don't think so, Kakarot. Did you forget about your match with me? Uh, come on! This isn't the time for that, okay, Vegeta? Don't blow me off! The actions of that supreme whatever aren't my concern in the slightest. All I care about is settling the score with you once and for all! That's the whole reason I joined this stupid tournament in the first place! I hear ya, I hear ya. It doesn't have to be here, but we'll fight later, I promise, alright? Idiot! You're only back from Otherworld for one day, remember? Hey, you should come to Otherworld with me. We can fight there! <laughs> Let's go. Tell me, can I really trust you with Gohan? It'll be fine. After I finish healing him, I will be joining you. I'm sure he'll follow soon thereafter. Damn it.
Wait up! So you've decided to come then. Thank you. I don't think we have much of a chance without your help. Much of a chance? You mean against those two guys? No, not those two. They're merely pawns. At the beck and call of an evil wizard. A wizard? Yes. Right around the time mankind began to walk upright here on Earth, an evil wizard named Bibbity lived in a distant corner of the universe. One day, Bibbity happened to create a terrifyingly powerful monster. That monster was Boo, an untenable and fearsome Machin. In a few short years, hundreds of once vibrant planets were reduced to nothing but ashes. Majin Buu's power was so great that even his creator struggled to control him. Bibbidi had no other recourse but to temporarily seal Majin Buu away. I was able to use that chance to defeat Bibbidi. However, I failed to realize that Bibbidi had a child. His son Bobbidi, who was filled with just as much evil as his father. There. You're healed, Gohan. <clears throat> wow. I feel great. Come with me. I will tell you everything. Can I come too? There's so much I want to know. Please? <gasps> Can you just promise me you'll run if things get dangerous? Sure. All right then, let's go. Majin Buu, huh? Wow, okay. So then what were those Spopovich and Yamu guys doing at the tournament? In order to break the long-held seal on Majin Buu, a large, pure energy source is needed. Those two were sent to the tournament to gather that energy. We won't be able to reach the others at this rate. We need to increase our speed. I can't fly any faster than this! Okay. You'd better head back then. Things are far worse than I feared. Guess I'm gonna have to, huh? That's too bad. But I think I finally learned something. It wasn't my dad that beat Cell back then. It was you guys, right? Well, uh... I knew it. I thought something was off when I heard my dad beat him. That clears things up. Good luck, Gohan. Pulverize that wizard Bobbity and save the world. Right. Don't die on me, Gohan. I want to go on a date with you when you get back. Are you done? We need to hurry after the Supreme Kai. Right. Sorry about that. I wonder what this Bobbity guy's like. Okay, let's go meet up with my dad and the others. Sure, but first I see two substories on the map. And are we in a new area? Ah, Great West Desert area has been unlocked. Yes, we are. Alright. It's pretty cool. Far beyond Freezer and what is this? Teachings for tomorrow. So we have two substories right in this area that we will take care of before we continue the main story of course this is great look at all of this energy so 
What's it with you two guys, huh? Huh? Supreme Kai? Where's Barbidi? <laughs> Just ahead, along with Goku and the others. Altering the wizard of your presence in your haste to find him would not be wise, that's why I've been waiting for you here. There's no need to go this far for the boy, my lord. My lord? It's quite alright, after all, I am a staunch believer in our new friends. Uh, sorry if this sounds rude, but the Supreme Kai is pretty high up in the cosmology of things, right? What? Extremely high up. And yes, you do sound rude. Just because you can hold your own in a fight doesn't give you permission to act a fool in the presence of the Supreme Kai. No. Oh, I uh, didn't mean to offend. I was just curious about the Supreme Kai's strength, that's what? all. What? How dare you? The Supreme Kai could destroy someone of Frieza's strength in an instant if he so what? choose. Really? Frieza? Mm -hmm. What? Do you doubt what I say? You would doubt the Supreme Kai's judgment. Well, I for one doubt your group defeated Frieza at all. Huh? If you did if you did best him, then prove it in combat. <laughs> Excellent. Gohan's power interests me as well. Sure, let's go ahead. Show what show me what you got. Hi. Sure thing. Where do you want to do it? Here? Yes, but not in the way you are imagining. Our code rarely allows for engaging mortals in physical combat. Furthermore, catching Babibi's attention would prove detrimental to our cause. <laughs> Let us take our clash to a less tangible plane. Our mental projections will battle it out. Hey, I've done that before. <laughs> Quillen and I passed the time on route to Namek using that same technique. I will project a mental version of Frieza. Defeat right. it. Yes, sir. Oh boy, Frieza has no chance. Huh, that form, huh? It's not even the golden one. Sorry, spoiler alert. You don't have a chance. Where is it? There it is, coming on me. Ah! Fuck. Hold still, you little piece of shit. That was nice. Come at me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh shit. Okay. That was easy. Nice. <laughs> shit. Again? Oh shit. Right, be gone. Oh shit, I almost had him. Like he was coming straight at me. And I hit him. Nice one. Again, come on, stop it, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck. Go on. Get your shit together, go on. Finish. That was easy. That was really easy. Come on. My, my. Your power is extraordinary, near ceilingless, I dare say. <laughs> wow, thanks. I was not aware that one of your abilities existed among the mortal population. Mm. If only we had met earlier. I could have entrusted you with the disposal of such sinister entities as Frieza. Mm. He's that strong, my lord? The Supreme Kai rarely commands anyone to this mm. extent. Consider it a great honor, right. boy. Noted. Alright, that was the first sub-story. Cool. I really enjoyed that. Like, I can, can't can ever get enough of beating Frieza as more for our storyboard. Nice.
Wait a second, where's that other sub story? Oh, all the way over there, okay. So, oh, he again. Mom. I'm the one that's caused this problem, so I should be the one to resolve it. If this keeps up, the village won't be able to recover. He looks like he's having a hard time. Um, is everything alright? Teachings for tomorrow. Is something wrong? Wait, you're Goku, is that no. you? Huh? Oh no, Goku's actually my dad. Do you know my dad? Oh, oh, my apologies. My name is Nam. Your father has done me many favors. I see, I'm Gohan. Mm. I couldn't help but notice something seems to be bothering mm. you. Indeed, I'm a little embarrassed to say though. You see, I'm worried about this village. Mm. Huh? It doesn't look like there's anything wrong to me. This region used to be arid and devoid of water. We all struggle to raise our crops and provide for each other. But we've recently discovered our village is home to valuable minerals that sell for a high price. Once people realized they could become wealthy quite easily, they began to abandon farm life. What? Really? And to make matters worse, people have stopped conserving the water we've stockpiled. They say we can just trade the minerals for water, but this place is prone to frequent dry spells. We could be stricken with an unimaginable drought at any time. I fear for the safety of my village. So that's what's got you so wor worried. Indeed, to be honest, I feel personally responsible for this, as I was the one who learned of the value of the minerals here. We did the substory on that. In my efforts to prepare for the worst, I learned of a crop that can survive droughts, but it's only grown a considerable distance mm. from here. I would travel there myself, but I can't just leave the village, especially not at a time like this. What should I do? Right. I could head out and find that crop for oh you. My. Really? That would be an immense help, are you sure it's okay? Right. Sure, I've got no problem traveling long distances, so where can I find the shrub you mentioned? Indeed. Right, it can be found here. I've heard a farmer in that village is growing it, that's all I know, given that I haven't been there myself. Hi. Got it, I'll head out now. Shouldn't be a problem. That should not be a problem at all. Where is this crop? Over there. In West City, really? That's weird. Here we are. Hey dude, what's up? Um, hey. Hey, a stranger, what can I do for you? I've heard there's a crop here that can survive droughts. Would you know anything about- I hope I pronounced this correct. <laughs> Would you know anything yeah. about that? Sure, there would be golden grow potatoes. Just plant the seeds and you're golden. That's why they call them that. Just one seed will produce enough crops to last you 10 years. <laughs> That's got to be it. I'm interested in some seeds if you got them. Yeah, I got them, but I'm not looking to give them up, I'm afraid. If I just sold the stuff willy-nilly, there would be nothing but potatoes as far as the eye can see around here. Is there any way you'd reconsider? You see, there's this village that's really struggling with droughts. If there's anything I can do for you in return, I'll do it. You're really gunning for those seeds, ain't you? Alright then, here's what you can do. I'm told the top price for the upcoming bipedal Robowalker time attack in West City is a top-of-the-line tractor capsule. You get that tractor for me, and I'll give you the seeds. I don't want the robot walker stuff. Right. <laughs> I'm not good at that. Okay, I'll finish the race and get you the tractor. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Alright, here we are. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Bipedal Robo Walker Time Attack. You there, you look like you're itching for a challenge. Up for grabs is a new tractor capsule. Alright, man, let's play the time attack. Right. Time to run the race and get that top prize. <laughs> Let the time attack begin. I'm not a fan of that. Not at all. I got to admit that. This thing can't run fast and you can't see where you're going. This is so annoying. I hate that. Like, what? 
fuck was that now? Fuck off, why can't this fucking thing jump higher? Come on! Oh, this is so bad. I'm so not good at this. I really hate that you almost can't see like when you have to jump. This is fairly annoying. And I know I'm whining a lot about it. <laughs> I know that. Up. Run sch Come on, run right. faster, go Looking on. Good. I want to say run schneller, but... Yeah. I don't know why I'm yeah. mixing so many German words in my English as of recent. I really don't... I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. Up. Oh, come on. Come on. Checkpoint! Check it out. What is the time I have to beat though? I really want to know. Like, am I good? Am I in time? Or am I absolutely fucked? Come on. <laughs> there it is. That's the finish line. Come on. John. Please tell me that was it. <laughs> hey, congrats, my friend. That was one heck of a time. You're surprised. You've earned it, champ. Yes, Great. we won it. I did it. I'd better head back to the farmer. Alright, nice. Um. I finished the race and got the tractor you wanted. Hey. Wow. Yeah, I think I get you now. You gotta have some real determination to finish okay. that race. I can fork over some golden grill seeds to a guy Thank like you. you. Very much. Thank you. You know what? You can keep the tractor too. What? What? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you were the real deal. Plus, with them seeds, you're gonna need the tractor to clear the land. Right. Thank you, thanks a lot. Right. I brought you some golden grow potato seeds. I even got a tractor capsule too. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. You handed over golden grow potato seeds? I... I can't even begin to find a way no. to thank you. It's okay, there's no need to thank me. It was no trouble mm. at all. What's going on? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> Take a look at this, it's a potato that can be grown even in a drought. <laughs> Classic num. Always a worry ward. Things are different now, we can't just buy more water. You need to loosen up, you know? Idiots. Mm. As you can see, this, that is the mentality of the people here now. Be that as it may, I will try to grow these potatoes you've brought Hi. me. Great, best of luck to you. A short while later. Let's see how things are going. Man, I'm hungry. Somebody please go buy some food. We've still got plenty of minerals to sell, right? Who's gonna swap food for rocks? Besides, the nearest village doesn't even... Doesn't have any crops because of the drought. We should have been better prepared for this. They're in real trouble. Me. Listen to me, everyone. Hmm. We have food. The golden grow potatoes I've planted have ripened. We have enough to go around for everyone. Whoa! Hooray! So, will you finally listen to what I have to say? I do not intend to lecture you. I recognize that I was the one who told you of the valuable minerals. I am partially to blame for this mess. But let this be a valuable lesson for all of us. This is our chance to turn over a new leaf. He didn't want to lecture them, but he does anyway. Now is our chance to better prepare for whatever disaster may befall us. Right. Yeah, hmm, you're right. right. Let's try to get things right this yeah. time. We'd better tell our kids about this so future generations don't make the same mistakes. Oh, they will anyway. You know, people don't learn. <laughs> so, are we all on the same page now? If we all work together, we'll be okay. Oh, yeah! Oh, my. Oh, go on, you've returned. Thanks to you, it looks like we'll be able to overcome this hardship. No. I'm glad I was able to help you out. 
You and your father have helped me in more ways than you can imagine. Please accept this as a token of my appreciation. Nice. Thank you very much. You really don't have to, but thank you. Thank you. Oh no, it is I who should be thanking you. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little embarrassed. Great. Cool. So let me check the world map real quick for more sub stories. No blue anywhere. Let me get the beans real quick. Alright, then let's continue the main story. Someone's down there. Do you think it might be that Bobbity guy? No, that's not Bobbity. Someone's coming out. Dabura. Curse that Bobbity. He's made the king of the demon realm nothing but his servant. Huh? Dabura? Which one's that? The big guy? Yes. Wait, so that means the, the, the little one over there is the wizard Bobbity? Correct. What he lacks in physical strength, he more than makes up for with his terrifying magic. Babadi's greatest technique is his ability to latch on to the evil in one's heart and use it to bend the victim to his will. For this reason, only those such as ourselves, free from evil in our hearts, will be able to fight him. Oh my, this is completely full of energy. Well done, you two. This brings us closer to reviving Majin Buu. And it also means I have no more use for you. Pui Pui! Yes, sir. <laughs> well, my dear Deborah. It seems that Yamu and his friends have brought us some visitors, <laughs> just as I calculated. And with them, that infernal Supreme Kai who murdered my father long ago. Assuming we can't make use of the energy for the Supreme Kai and Kabito, three of the others appear to have more than enough energy for our needs. Once you eradicate the others, Deborah, I want you to then lure those three into the ship. That will afford us a much greater chance of absorbing their energy. Indeed. One more thing. Do not kill the Supreme Kai. I will personally see to it he receives a slow and painful death later. As you wish, Lord Bobbidi. Do not let me down. Sir, now then, it's time. <gasps> Kibito! No! <coughs> what the? Uh, oh no! Uh, 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 Piccolo! Don't touch them! They've both been turned to stone. They can't be restored unless Tabura is killed. Oh, is that all we have to do? Well, that seems simple enough. Leave this place! You will never be able to stop Lord Bobbity. Let's go! Where are you going? What does it look like? Looks like where he's going. Come on, Dad. Let's make short work of this guy and save Piccolo and Krillin. Come on. They're really tough, you see. I can't even destroy them. All good. <laughs> can I? Can I? Can I? Can I switch? I really want. Cannot change. Okay. Get them. 
All right. So, assuming that there are no new sub stories, better to check. We can. Oh shit. We can. Woohoo! Check it out. Whoa! What is this place? Well, this is an awfully plain room. Be on your guard. We don't know what kind of traps they have in store for us. Now that I think about it, it's rather strange that you three weren't attacked at all. My apologies, but we're not the sit around and do nothing types. Lord Barbady is on the lowermost floor of this ship. Unfortunately, if you want to go down any further, you're going to have to go through me. I'm really sorry, but Pui Pui is such a ridiculous name. So, in other words, this is where you all die! <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be so sure of that. So, who goes first? I think rock, paper, scissors would be fair. <laughs> Fine. All right, guys, here goes! Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors! scissors. <laughs> rock, rock, paper, paper scissors! scissors. Uh, man. Good! Looks like I'm up first. Uh, are you really going to fight him alone? Of course. I'm more than enough for this worm. <laughs> You're dumber than you look, you know that? Like I said before, you guys aren't getting past this floor. Any damage you take here will be converted into energy and absorbed by this room, and then sent directly to the ball that Majin Buu sealed inside. That's good to hear. Does that mean if I blow you to pieces right now, no energy will be absorbed? That's right. But unfortunately for you, that's not gonna happen! Enough talking. Let's hurry up and get this over with. Come at me! Oh dear, I can't have you damaging my ship. Uh, hey, what the... Well, what just happened? Where are we? Babadi used his magic to change the room. Most likely to a place that benefits his henchmen. So what? Seriously, so what? I'm going to end this quickly. I was just about to say that myself. They made me. Oh boy, you're in for a surprise. You're fucking serious. I don't care. Right. <laughs> Vegeta's training under much harder conditions. You can suck my wally. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck off of your fucking yeah, shot thingy! How? Come here, you little pussy! Seriously! You prepare yourself. Ow! Ow! You're fucking serious! How? Hold still! Finish! Doesn't he have goons stronger than this? Huh? Hey, check it out! A hole opened up in the floor! It looks like some sort of elevator. Uh, how... how did you do... that? Hey, 
what gives? This room looks just like the last one. Whoa! This guy looks pretty slow. Th that's... that's Yakon! Demon Beast Yakon! In the interest of time, I'll transport you to your beloved home world of Darkstar and its pitch black environment. Make sure to retrieve plenty of energy for me. <laughs> <laughs> now which one of you should I eat first? Ooh, it's Goku's time. Against me. All right. My first course. Oh, dude, you don't have a chance. Oh, shit. How far? Oh, no, I hate these bastards that heal themselves. With my fucking attacks. Seriously. So, we want to put the KO can on top of that. I think we want to. Oh, no. You fucking son of a... I really need to be more careful. Come at me, you little pussy. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. What? Oh, that's not good. I should stop with that. <laughs> No, no, no. Stop it. Every time I want to use this attack, seriously. Now. What? That didn't do anything. Stop it. Why doesn't this do anything? Alright then. Uh oh. Oh, he's not a... He's not a Super Saiyan anymore. No. Fuck. See, I really should finish him off with this kind of attacks. This is so annoying. No. I hate that shit so much. Fucking hell. He's healing himself way too much with my fucking attacks. God damn it, seriously. Right, and now come here you little pussy. Stop that. Is he full again? Oh fu- Why? I hate that so much. Come on. Right. Come on. Oh, 
The thing is, I don't have any non-energy attacks in my portfolio. I really should change that, maybe. I can only do this when he's flying away from my attacks. Like that. Otherwise, he will just suck it up. Oh, come on, there was only one fucking attack of him. Uh-oh, not good. That was it. Stop it. Son of a fuck. Come on, dude. I have so enough of you. Right, seriously. Alright. Oh, this fight takes way too long because I, because I was so stupid in the beginning. Need another sensor beam. Only like already the second one in this fight. That's ridiculous. You don't have a chance to stop it. Ow. Don't you have any other attacks you can do? This is so annoying. Alright. In your face. Ow. And finish finally. Who? is what they're throwing at us, then this Majin Buu creature must be a real weakling! Huh. What in the world are these people? I know what to do now. I shall handle these intruders myself. And in doing so, I should be able to retrieve more than enough energy for Majin Buu. But, but Debora! If I lose you, then I'll have no further defense against them! Do you actually stand a chance? Stand a chance? <laughs> I am Debora, King of the Demon Realm. No one in this universe has the power to defeat me. I must admit, I'm impressed. Mortals like you were able to defeat Yakon. I must commend you for such an achievement. But this is as far as you will go. I will be your next opponent. Margin Revival imminent. <laughs> If Bobbity is already resorting to dispatching his right-hand man, he must be getting quite desperate. Hmm. <laughs> That's quite enough of your useless chatter. Now, come at me, 
All of you! Wait a second. It's my turn to fight next. Come at me. What did you say? How dare you mock me? Lord Bobbidi, please transport us to a more suitable location. I must show this mortal my power. Very well. Pa -pa 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 -pa! All right. Time to make short work of this guy and save Piccolo and Krillin. King of the Demon Realm, head to the burrow and demolish him. We will do that, but we will do that in the next episode. The tournament's over, but more or less. I guess they are still fighting, but now without us, unfortunately. But yeah, we are quite busy with Barbidi and his henchmen trying to prevent Majibu from being revived, but yeah, we all know what's going to happen. So, we will fight against the burrow in the next episode. I will end this one right here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, leave me a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. See ya!